is a Bramble Jam podcast. Hi, I'm Bran. I love Hallmark Valentine movies. Hey, I'm Panda, and I like Hallmark Valentine movies. I'm Dan, and I despise Hallmark Valentine's movies, especially the ones that are acquired from three years ago. And this This is is the the Deck Deck the Hallmark Hallmark Podcast. podcast. Back again. Can I, you feel it? I know we haven't missed a week. Can you feel it? I can feel it. Well, no, your song is correct because guess who's back on Friendly TV, y'all? Oh, we're back on Friendly TV. We're back on Friendly TV. Whoa, 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 it took long enough. It did take, listen, contracts aren't going to negotiate themselves, right. guys. We are big time That's business right. boys. That's we, right. we get into the war room and we just hammer yeah. over those details of the contracts. Yeah, that's what happened. That's <laughs> what we do. It's there. It is on us. Look, because even yeah. like, you know, there was a, a word misspelled and Dan uh, berated the I, friendly people for <laughs> days. <laughs> Flip chairs over. Yes. Here's the reality of the situation. We're a mom and pop organization. But we're, we're, we, we are. We're a small business. Friendly is a mom and pop organization. They are. And so when you're with Friendly, you're family. And so we're a family. Friendly's a family. And the thing about families is sometimes it takes a little bit longer to get things done because we just don't have the manpower to do it. And so we're sorry, some of you who've been waiting for, wanting for our Friendly TV episodes to be up all the time. It's completely on us, but they're back. And not only are you going to get to see the deck, the hallmark on Friendly, you're going to get to see history or his story That's on right. That's we may right. have another treat for you on Friendly, another podcast That's drop right. coming up later. We don't want to talk and about another, it. Is it about, is my dancing show? It's, it's your, your dancing, dancing show. show. Yeah. It's your dancing show. Dancing show. The panda. Another fun thing is uh, coming soon to your friendly TV is a weekly little uh, 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 episode, a show, yeah. a, little, a little thing uh, where me uh, and Dan will break down what is you should be watching on Friendly TV this week. That's what we're um, here for. I don't know exactly when it's beginning, but it's happening soon. We're bringing the TV guide back. We're bringing the TV. You're going to want us to flip over the TV guide just to see uh, you, your boys. So maybe you've watched Friendly TV. You turn it on and you're like, the outdoor channel? Will I ever watch that? We will tell you when you should watch Yes, it. because there's only certain times. That's in right, all there's honesty. only certain times. Um, See, I'll the, let you know when Jim Cantori will be on the Weather Channel. Thunder There's snow, no baby. other time to watch. Here's the thing. Maybe you're listening and you're not a part of the Patreon community. Patreon.com slash Deck the Hallmark. Maybe you're listening. You haven't left an iTunes review. You're just listening and you're just consuming the material. And that's totally okay. But you want to watch more Hallmark movies? The easiest way to do that is friendlytv.com slash DTH. You can get a free seven-day trial. You will see as much of us as you could possibly want and probably some more, and you're going to get 13 channels, including all your Hallmark channels and DVR for eight bucks a month. And uh, the scuttlebutt on the street is that there's going to be more channels added yeah, that's right. in the future. So yeah. you're not, this yeah. is the time to get in. We've it's heard low, from low price. both Mr. and Mrs. Friendly, Doc Friendly right. uh, and, and her husband, and they have told us that the channels are coming, and they're coming fast and furious. We don't want to give anything away, though. No, 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 no. Yep. Um, but it is an exciting time, and it's also um, an exciting time because, guys, today is Super Tuesday. What that means, whatever. Elections, big whoop. What it means <laughs> is today's a super day for me to ask you guys, how was your weekend? Oh, my gosh. <sighs> are we doing this again? I'm not going to answer. What, you know I, what? It's just that simple. I do not have to do. I don't have to do this. The worst part of this is, is that people seem to be on brand side on mm-hmm. this thing. What? And I don't understand it. Like why all the people that review and go, you guys are a little bit too long with the bits, especially at the beginning of the podcast. Like, where are you right now? Because <laughs> like, <laughs> I need your support here. And instead I just get more. How was your weekend from brand? You know what? One day I'm going to, I'm going to hijack the show. I and I'm going to 20 minutes on my weekend. time with Rick. All right, I'm unwrapping some goodies, not my goodies, my goodies here. Uh, I got a couple of bullseyes. You guys know the bullseyes? I don't it's know. It's a bullseye. caramel cream situation. I guess it looks like a bullseye. I don't know, but it melts in your mouth and it's delicious. It's like the grandpa candy your grandpa used to hand you. You know the ones. I do. I got some sour candy canes. Those are weird. Uh, and I got some candy cigarettes. Can't believe they still make them, but they do. Pow. Candy talk with Rig. <laughs> um. <laughs> I heard you say something about people wanting more bits at the beginning. No. So I just thought I'd <laughs> my, that clip. I love how you're pushing Rig though. Like he needs something to do. My uh my weekend was was what it was. I helped you move. Um yeah. you asked me how my weekend was. I helped you move. I got up early on Saturday morning, walked three houses down because Brian has decided yeah. to move in three houses down from me. And I me. just want to say we started moving at nine. So it's yeah, like nine early. super early. <laughs> uh 
I walked three houses down. I helped you move. I went to vote in the South Carolina primary. Right. Um, yeah. Ate some meals with my family. I uh, had some fun. How was your food? Food was delicious. What'd you get on it? Um, I got a little bit of everything. Went to the Willie Taco. So Panda can ask questions about your weekend That's and right. everything's fine. Yeah, but you dandy. ask dumb questions about If I have weekend. to do it, I'm going to do it. My wife and I actually went, my wife and I celebrated 19 years of being together. 19 years. Wow. We've been dating for 19 years. Maybe, actually, as of today, March 3rd. When are you 3rd. guys getting married? Um, that's, that's <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so we went and got the old couple's massage. Really? Yeah, I did not know this. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know you were doing What's that. weird is yeah. it was me doing it. That's right. So it was Panda <laughs> is a masseuse. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, we went and got the couple's <laughs> massage. It was pretty great. Were you doing both of them at the same yeah. time? Yeah. It was a, it was a right hand, left hand. That's sit. amazing. Yeah. And uncomfortable. I'm really uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh, and I wish I wouldn't have shared. This is why we shouldn't do the weekends. <laughs> Pain the weekend good? Uh, yeah, it was solid, buddy. Guys, it's time to talk about um, everybody's favorite 2017 movie that was acquired for 2020, <laughs> Bad Date Chronicles. Mm. Uh, Bad <sighs> Date Chronicles originally aired on, uh, well, in 2017, but then it was acquired and aired on Hallmark Channel on February 29th, 2020. <laughs> went a little <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Numbers are hard. It went a little mm. something like this. Lee works for an online publication and is getting ready to go on her first date since she broke up with you know who. He who should not be named. Voldemort. <laughs> she writes a piece <laughs> called The Bad Date Chronicles where she chronicles people's bad dates. Her date that she's going to go on is with a guy named Connor. Connor works for a rival online publication. And after he spills some coffee on his clothes before the date, he has to change into a sleeveless shirt. And then he's late to the date. And then he accidentally lit her on fire. And then he poured water on her to get the fire out. And then he disappeared. And she had to pay for the dinner. She's disappointed. She's upset. Talk about a bad date. Ah. <laughs> we then get uh, his perspective. It turns out that he uh, got locked into the bathroom. He couldn't get out. The door handle came out. And so the next day he finds out what she wrote in her column about the bad dates. So he writes a rebuttal article about how he felt like the date wins. And they make up and they decide that they're going to go their own ways. End of the movie. You can go your own way. Go, go your own way. way. After the article gets so much traffic, both of their bosses hatch a plan that involves them being forced to go out on three more dates together and write about the, their dates each time. And so they show up for date number two. And uh-oh, it's another bad date because they, uh, they, they, the, their bosses decide that they are going to interfere. They're going to do things to, to, to cause some ruckus, right? Ruckus. Yeah. Ruckus. And it just doesn't go well. And so they go and they write about it. And, you know, there's a big competition. Who's going to get more views on, uh, on the thing? And so <laughs> it's time, guys, for the second date. And guess what happens? <coughs> they decide... Instead of doing a bunch of dangerous things, they're just going to take a walk. But then they go and they do those dangerous things. Anyway. And guess who is there to cause a ruckus? It's the bosses. Ruckus uh, twins. They interfere. They have another bad date. The bosses decide to up the ante a little bit. Whoever's last article gets more views has to quit and go work for the other person. But then Lee and Connor see the bosses hanging out with each other. And they're like, oh, they are the ones who's been ru ruining the day, who's been causing the ruckus. And so they decide what? They are the ones who <laughs> has, has been. Rusing? <laughs> it was just great. <sighs> this is a bad day yeah. of a pod, bad, bad podcast chronicle. Um, <laughs> so they decide that they're going to do their final date without anyone knowing. And if uh, it goes great, it goes great. Everybody, they're, they're loving it. They like each other. They like hanging out. And so she writes a really nice article about uh, him. He writes a really nice one about her. But when she shows her boss the article that she wrote, she's like, no, 
No, it has to be a mean article. It has to get uh, the, the views. It has to be juicy. And so she kicks around. She says, I'm going to write an article for you. But she just can't find it in her um, innards to publish <laughs> that article. <laughs> But then his boss goes in to talk to her and finds that article printed because, you know, it's an online publication. Uh, and he sees it. And so he brings it to Connor. He's like, look what they're going to write. What, what's going You said it went well. She said it didn't. <laughs> so Connor decides to rewrite his story and he publishes it. And Lee is crushed. Then the ending of the movie happens and it goes like this. The bosses and the friends orchestrate an event to get Connor and Lee in the same space where the friends and the bosses read the original articles out loud to them as they smile at each other awkwardly. They smile and then they kiss and they have a romantic uh, time outside eating and whatnot. Uh, the companies then end up uh, merging. Uh, they drink bubblies, I think. I think they get married. And that, my friends, was... Bad Day Chronicles! We did it. Wow. We did it. That synopsis was fitting of the movie. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, guys, can I ask you uh, a question really quickly? Yeah. Give me your honest review of that synopsis. Uh, I said I, that is as honest a review. I mean, maybe when we get to the hot take, we can... Panda? <clears throat> My hot take of your of your summary? Yeah. Uh it it was not your best. Thank you. Um guys, we have a couple of sponsors today. We love our sponsors. They mean so much to us because they help us keep the lights on. And if you're watching on Friendly TV and there weren't lights on, that would be problematic. Yes, so thank it would. you so much to our sponsors. Our first sponsor today is our friends over at Lion Rock Recovery doing some amazing work to help people find the help that they need. Here's the thing. All of us in this room and probably you as you're listening can think of somebody who might need a little extra help. Maybe they, they are, they're struggling with a substance abuse or maybe something else and they just need some help, but they don't know where to turn. They don't know where to go to find that help. Guys, let me introduce you to Lion Rock Recovery because what they do is one, incredible, but two, it allows you to find the help and the recovery that you need from your house. It's an online recovery platform and it is incredible. Yeah, so most people that struggle with substance abuse, the reason that they continue to fall off the wagon, so to speak, is because it's really hard to find that convenient, omnipresent accountability. Someone that's always there when you need somebody to talk to, somebody that, that's always there to hold you accountable and to make sure you're doing what you need to do. Someone's there that will listen without judgment. Having someone online that knows you personally and can talk to you at the touch of a button, it can be life-changing, and Lion Rock is leading the way in helping make that a, a reality. That's exactly right. And so what our friends over at Lion Rock are going to do for you, if you go to lionrockrecovery.com slash deck, you can get more info, you can get a free, totally confidential consultation, and if you mention the promo code deck, they're going to send you a free Amazon Fire that is going to be preloaded with everything you need. Wow. To, to get started with Lion Rock Recovery. That's great. So Love go to that. lionrockrecovery.com slash deck today. Uh, tell your friend, your loved one that might need this for uh, about this amazing program. Uh, <laughs> you'll be happy and thankful that you did. Love Absolutely. That. What a Guys, great program. Um, are you just uh, excited to dive into this mm, movie? Yeah. Oh, you, I could not be more ready. Let's do it. Are you amped? Brent, can I be real with you? Yes. If I got any more amped, I'd probably, I'd probably pop. Wow. Wow. That's being real, man. That's interesting you say that. Because, Way to keep it real. Because you guys know Pringles. Yeah. So once you pop, you can't stop. Once you pop, you don't. You can't stop. And the other right. day, well, hold on. I know you think I'm doing a bit here, but I'm not. Okay. okay. All right. All right. So the other so, day, I got some of those salt and vinny Pringles. Yeah. Oh, I love those. Those are great. I, I took the plastic top off. You popped them. I popped them. And then I told uh, pulled the, uh, the tap, you yep. know, the white tap. And inside of that tab, yeah. Yeah. it said... How are you doing? And I said, I'm doing well. And then th this is the craziest thing. I pulled out the Pringle and it said hot tech on it. Now, you said a second ago yeah. you, you weren't doing a bit. I wasn't was, a bit. That's was, my that, was that a lie? No, 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 no. That's my truth. So you're, you're saying. This is my truth. It's your truth. It's my truth. Okay. 
It's time for the hot take. Pana, what's your hot take? This movie's bad. No. Uh, hot take chronicle. <laughs> bad take chronicles. This movie's bad, bad, bad. It's zany bad, but not in the good way. It's 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 lose IQ points bad. Like you get dumber watching it. And there's nothing I, I'm trying to think of something redeeming about this movie, but like it, it's it's entertaining purely because it do, it does not have any of the rhythm of a normal Hallmark movie, and it's so preposterous, so ridiculously stupid that you almost are sucked into that world until you remember this this movie is not worth my time, and then it's just boring, stupid. Yeah. So yeah, I I, I felt between the manic stupidity and then just the boring stupidity. I was tossed and turned. You felt stupid. Oh, I definitely yeah. felt stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I um, tell you guys about a movie called um, Amazing Winter Romance? Yeah, with the maze. With the yes. maze. I've been thinking of this comparison all afternoon. Okay. Yeah. So I want to tell you something, that, and this is a truth, my truth as well. <laughs> yep. Um, in the top five of Winter Fest, right. Amazing Winter Romance landed at the number five spot for both of you. Right. The lowest of the low. That's yes. right. For me, it landed at number three. And I'm here to tell you. Oh, no. That I, I, I really like these dumb, zany, yeah, yeah. weird movies. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because while they are maybe one might say bad, they are also, ju- they stick with me more. I, I have more fun with them. And it, there's something about it that is just I can just sit back and I can have a good time, which I like. And sure. so, so in the normal so, Hallmark movies, you can't sit back and have no, a good no, time. No, 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 no. With the bad regular <clears throat> yeah, Hallmark yeah, yeah, movies, yeah. I can't. Yeah, I got you. I can't. This is bad, but it's fun bad, like yeah. next level yes. bad. And so it's the same thing with Amazing Winter Romance. It, it's the reason why it wasn't uh, four or five for me is because it stuck out, and I had a really fun time watching that movie. Similar to that, Bad Date Chronicles will not be my bottom uh, love in store, whatever this season yeah. is called. Um, it won't be my bottom. Uh, we'll upload <clears throat> those so soon, um, but it's not going to be my bottom. It's going to be somewhere in the middle there because it's enough to differentiate. It's fun. It's zany, and I can have a good time. I- I think I don't understand your rating system. No, I think because if the, if this mo- if we're judging movies by how long they stick with us, no, then yes, no, no, this no. movie because will. I can tell you right now, you said Amazing Winter Romance. I knew what movie you were talking about, and I was like, yeah, Winter in Vale yeah. and Love in Iceland or whatever yes. are higher. What are yes. the two lower ones? I don't remember their yes. names. Yes. Amazing Winter Romance stuck with me longer, but it's, but it's not terrible- about sticking. It's about what I enjoy watching. More. Okay. Yeah, okay. I enjoyed okay. watching yeah. this movie. I enjoyed watching Amazing Winter Romance, even though I am able to watch those movies and acknowledge they are bad movies, but they are fun bad movies, which is different than just a yeah. standard bad movie. Yeah. Um, this movie, and I don't know the inner workings. I don't pretend to know them, so this is just my thought here, and sure, it could sure. be way off base. It made me feel like no one's in charge of Hallmark right now. <laughs> <laughs> Or at least Crown Media. At the very least, there's not like a president. I would say there's somebody or CEO, in charge of Hallmark. But Crown Media. Crown Media, though. I feel like it's a, a li- like this movie at least made it feel like it's a rudderless ship. I don't know if it is. I have no knowledge of the, the political hierarchy or structure of Crown Media. It felt like they're just like, what the heck? We'll put on anything. What should um, we put on? Should we do it? Oh, we got this movie. It's got dust on it. It's on a VHS. Put it in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, this movie is is it like it may be qualitatively the worst movie I've I've seen on the network before. Um, having said that, I do think it it does fall into the it's so bad it's fun camp. Like I don't like it. I hated it. But like if you're asking me if I'd rather sit through a dull really bad Christmas movie. Oh, yeah. Like I'm thinking Santa, Montana. Santa Dean, whatever that one was, uh, Christmas in Montana. Montana. Yeah. Like I would rather watch this. this. Yeah. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. I would watch this movie a thousand times over Christmas in Montana. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 We okay. were on the same oh, okay. page. I thought I you were, I thought were you, I was you saying, listening over there? No, I, yes, okay. I was. I thought you were saying, uh, it, it's no. so bad. It's good. But when it comes to a, a bad Christmas, no, no, movie, no, I thought no, 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 no. This one's way light years. Somehow better than Christmas in Montana. It just is like, 
the dialogue at the beginning, they just were express train that ran out of gas. Like the first 10 minutes, that rider is just doing bumps of his favorite caffeinated beverage. And he's just like, I got to write all the words. And they just run out. Like, it's just quick cut line, quick cut line. And you're like, what is happening I right now? I was exhausted 11 minutes in. Uh, it, I can't believe it made it to air. I can't believe it is not on brand for them at all. There are people that do legitimate bad things in this, this movie. Yes. Le- there are people that I would not feel comfortable leaving with my kids in the room in this movie. Um, it's not good qualitatively. It may be the worst of the worst. Uh, but yeah, it definitely has some moments that were just like, couldn't believe it was happening. Uh, laughed, laughed aloud. Nothing else really to be said. It's that bad. It's the movie was made in 2017. Feels like it was made in 1997 and no one aired it in three years. No one, no like digital online pay $3 Pixel, a month. Pixel aired it in 2017. Okay. They did. Okay. Good. Yes, it was Feel better about and that. You could get on DVD. Yeah, you can get yeah. it. Yeah. You could do it. Which I did. Yes. <laughs> I watched it five times. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for all the feels. It's part of the show we're talking about. was going to give us those feels. Panda, did you get any feels in this movie? I, the only thing that gave me feels in any capacity in this movie is, apart from the zany feels, is just the cringiest feels I've gotten in a movie at the ending where they Ooh. all are reading the script. It's or that, the, like, yeah. the paper bags with like blue candles. Yeah. Underneath. And then you have uh, Merritt Patterson and Dubro who are face to face walking towards each other and their friends somehow have perfectly lined up and, and choreographed who's going to read what. I when. thought they were going to get married. Yeah. yeah. It was as close to like a marriage ceremony for a fifth date and, that I've ever seen in we'll my life get to it without in, in the way what section, but without them knowing about this with this being a surprise and not knowing right, that they didn't actually write they're supposed to still be mad they're supposed to still they would ne- be mad. This, yes. that would never happen it's it's it was it was so bad and I'm not exaggerating when I say this I got cringe chills like literally yeah, yeah. goosebumps down my spine at how bad and I've embarrassed I was I yeah. it was bad it was so bad <laughs> I love them yeah um so my all the feels is something that they did um, with this movie that is uh, it, it's it's a feel because I thought it was a really it's a really fun thing to do in a movie, but they didn't necessarily do it great, and I'll explain that in a second. Uh, but at the beginning, when they're talking about the the first uh, bad date, and there uh, she walks into her uh, her friend's place or her place, and her friend was there, I don't know, um, and she's telling the story, and we're seeing the flashback right of of it, of it all happening, kind of. Uh, sped up as she's telling it um, and then it cuts to him and we see the same thing but it's a, just a little bit different yeah you know what I'm saying um, yeah. I would say I, I really I'd love it I thought it was a really fun uh, uh, storytelling technique yeah I would say the one thing my critique of it is the the biggest difference at the table is that she knocked the candle Versus, uh, versus him knocking the candle. That's right. Yeah. And it wasn't clear enough to the viewer. I wouldn't have noticed it unless one of you guys pointed it out. Yeah. It was him that, it was mm-hmm. her that knocked yeah. the candle in his uh, point of view. Um, if, if there was something bigger uh, that was different between the two dates, um, that would have been a, a, a better uh, usage of that storytelling technique. But as a whole, really fun way to tell the two I, different sides of the date. I think that it's not a bad idea for a movie. Yeah. I want to like having these two people go on the stage to go wrong and having different interpretations of why it goes wrong. But the problem is, is from there, from that point, it becomes basically how to lose a guy in 10 days. But both people know that the other one's writing an article. You know, the whole premise of how to lose a guy in 10 days is that McConaughey doesn't know Kate Hudson's writing this article. And so he's in on the whole bit. They both know the other one's going to write an article. It doesn't make any sense. Like yeah. it could not have been a worse use of the premise at all. They have no incentive to actually none. have a good day. No, none at all. Aside from them not wanting to have the other person to have any ammunition for their article. That's right. Yeah, no, right. Which just then don't go. Right. I mean, yeah, but then their bosses are forcing them. Well, then just go and say you went and then leave. But it's a like, lose-lose, lose, lose, right? Because if you don't go, your boss is mad at you. If you go and the date uh, doesn't suck, well, they, then uh, like it is at the end, then the bosses are mad they, at you. They get rid of the one loophole in this, which is the movie. Like if they go to a movie, the bosses really can't do anything right. to sabotage it. And so they, they just could, go, they could mess oh, up it's late. Oh, the, the, the show times are <laughs> yeah, not true. there. Mess the projector. Yeah, oh my gosh. Burn that, the popcorn. I don't know. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't affect those two directly. Yeah. You know. Well, then they would be forced out of the theater if the projector yeah. messed up. If every projector in the theater yes. was showing every movie it was messed like up. It looked like a one-off. A one-off. A yeah, yeah, it wasn't great. Yeah. Um, I didn't really have any feels aside from just wanting to be over. I like, I didn't have anything that like stood out. It's bad. I, it, it's really, really bad, but I don't really have anything. Okay. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. No, that's it fine. is. Um, 
You know what gives me feels? What? Getting deals. I love deals? deals. Deals and deals. What's the best deal you've ever gotten? Oh, once upon a time, I bought a stuffed animal monkey um, at one of those claw machines. Mm-hmm. It only took 50 tries at a dollar. Ooh, piece. Uh, 50 bucks for a stuffed claw uh, monkey. Exactly right. Can wow. I tell you one of the best moments of my life? Yes. Uh, it was a deal I got. Oh, my goodness. Uh, about 10 years ago, this happened. I'll never forget the day. It was yep. super late. I had had a really, really long what day. What day was it? Uh, it was, I, I couldn't. He'll remember. never forget it. <laughs> I'll never forget. I forget. Uh, I had a family member who was uh, in the hospital that day. It was a tough day. So I drive to McDonald's late at night, and I get my favorite thing, which is the McChicken sandwich there. <laughs> and I think I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to double. I got four of them. Yeah, you did. I got four McChicken Man, that sandwiches. That was a bad day. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah it was no, a, bad day. a bad it was, day. It was like 1230 at night. And they come to the window, and they say, hey, listen, we ran out of McChicken patties. And I sat there. I that said, oh, no. That would happen to you. That would happen to you. <laughs> it, yeah. But they said, and here's where it worked out my favorite. They said, instead of giving you the McChicken patties, we're giving you the premium deluxe chicken. Oh, and they gave me four of them. I couldn't even finish them, guys. I was yeah, swimming big, big in sandwich. like tasty chicken, yeah. and it was <laughs> it was out of control. Like to this day, I will never forget. I drive by that McDonald's and I sit there and I think, what an awesome Much love. deal. The, the premium <laughs> make chicken is still subpar. It's chicken. still bad. Yeah, but I yeah. mean, imagine paying only a dollar for imagine. it. Imagine, yeah, four yes. bucks and you get four of those, which yeah, only I costs mean, like three, four dollars each. The best. That's probably the best. That's the you best saved thing seven that's or eight dollars. <laughs> And I will say, as a guy who I, I have personally seen you be negatively affected, this guy, you get his food fast wrong. Food establishments, yeah, he gets cranky. To, to see you come out on the other end with a with a yeah, deal, yeah, makes me good. feel good. good. Yeah, no, I love I love that. Story. I bring up deals for a reason, and yeah. it is because of our next sponsor. Oh, our good thank, friends, oh okay, thank yeah, goodness, yeah, our good friends over there at Today Ticks. Guys, at least we got that Sterling Four McChicken story out of the way. Here's the thing, guys. <laughs> There are a lot of ticket sale agencies on yeah. the internet machine. Yeah. But a lot of them are confusing. It's difficult to know where, what event you're actually picking, what the, uh, the actual cost is going to be. And today, Tix has made a way to not just uh, make it very clear, make it very simple. It's, especially if you want something for the stage. That's exactly Like, I right. think if you're looking to go to a Broadway play, a musical, a comedy event on a stage... It can get lost in these other sites. They can they can raise the prices way too high. Today Tix makes it very very si- simple. It has a variety of shows in a variety of locations. Yes. Look, they gave us the ability to go and look and buy tickets uh, to to an event. We've been in New York several times. Every time I'm in New York, I see <laughs> that To Kill a Mockingbird is is playing, uh, written by Aaron Sorkin. I want to go. I look at tickets on the night that we're in town. It's always too expensive. With Today Tix, there are nights of the week where you can go and get deals on these shows like 39 49 59 bucks like four mcchickens for a dollar but yeah yeah unreal good deal yes. um and it's all on today ticks they have shows not just in the big cities like new york and, and la and london they have them for all these cities around the world really and you can go and find your That's stage right. if you look if you're trying to see hamilton or book of mormon or something and you keep seeing on StubHub, it's uh it's five hundred dollars you can go and look at the calendar on Today Ticks and see each and every day that tickets are for sale and find the date where the tickets cost the least That's amount. That's exactly right. Listen, you can book advance or same day tickets uh, in 30 seconds or less. That's right. doesn't matter where you live. No matter where you live, you can get tickets for the stage at Today Ticks. That's exactly right. And so our good friends at Today Ticks are uh, actually going to offer our listeners uh, $10 off your first Purchase by going to todayticks.com slash deck. The promo code is deck there. That is todayticks. That is T-I-X yeah. dot com slash deck for $10 off your first ticket purchase. You're going to get to see that show you've been wanting to see forever or, or maybe discover something that you love just as much. It'll be a day that you will never forget. Mm. Much like my chicken sandwich. That's premium, so baby. Awesome. Premium. Oh my gosh. Hey, guys, it's time for the huh? No way. Huh? No way. Wait, what part of the show? There's a bukus to be found in this movie. Panda, take away. I've got so many bukus to share with you. Uh, buku number one. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the bosses. And can we just get them sabotaging the entire thing out of the way? Because it is so ridiculous. Oh, my God. How are they in the restaurant, adding Tabasco sauce, adding salt, and no one's like, 
What are they doing? Like, who's not stopping these people? Like, are they in the kitchen? Are they bright? Like, when did that happen? When yeah. did it happen? And then, like, they, they go. That one guy drills holes in a boat on the second or third date. Like, how is he who's down in the water for that? Who's, Dude. Like, what's happening? Every here? scene involving the two bosses together is nonsensical. Yeah. It, it doesn't. doesn't make it doesn't sense. hold up. It's it doesn't bad. make sense. It just doesn't work at all. In the best way. Oh, no. When they hold up the salt shaker and the Tabasco yeah. bottle and uh, cheers we them, laughing. I was yes. like, what is happening yep. right now? You know, the old over salt. I trip. got him with the salt. <laughs> There's too much salt on this food. The date's ruined. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> They'll never recover. Uh, <laughs> three hours later, sorry. I got to... <laughs> Call it a night. Yeah. <laughs> the Ooh. salt is Ooh. getting so My much salt sodium is out of control. Mm. I it tastes tell. like a salt lick. I just kept eating it. That's right. It tastes like a premium chicken. <laughs> no, it was the perfect blend. Yeah, yeah. Don't stop. joke I'm about so that. Stop I'm it. so sorry. Um, I'm confused about their, I guess it's their second or third date, I, I lose track, where they say, hey, we're going to go for a walk. We're not going to do all these other things, but then we're going to go for a walk. It's the and third date, the second the third date in, the, in, the, in the series. Yeah, that's right. right. And then they proceed to go on that date. The, yeah. the same exact thing. They were like, well, we're going to take a walk. But then they pop into the, they, they do everything they, that they said they're not going to do. And it, there is an insinuation in this movie that the two bosses somehow make them do those things. Right. Yes. That is the thing that is just, I cannot get over in this movie. They go, oh, you want to go to a coffee shop? No, hot liquids. You want to go ice skate? No, I prefer not to go to the hospital. You want to go uh, uh, on a sailboat? No, 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 no. A paddle boat? No, no, no. What, what, water everywhere? Are you crazy? Let's just go for a walk. They definitely don't want to do those things. And then they show the bosses conniving. And then there's a montage of them doing all the things they said they would never do, insinuating that somehow the bosses use some sort of like mind trick to make them do all the things they said they wouldn't do. It makes no sense it at all. It makes no sense. Don't understand it. Um, I'm confused, finally, on how the tablecloth catches fire to begin with. Um, those are pretty small f- flames. Typically, tablecloths, not not the it most hitters, flammable. It sweater. Her sweater. Her sweater. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. the sweater was then on top of the tablecloth, That's right. which yeah. caused the rest of the table to be caught yeah. on fire. So okay. The, the, okay. the little candle went over to her sleeve, which caught her sleeve on fire, right, right. which caused the tablecloth. Oh, wow. Yeah. What what a what a series of unfortunate events. It really is. Right. It's a real lemony snicket. A real snicket. <laughs> real snicket sitch. Snicket sitch is my band. <laughs> We're playing at Fitzy's on Friday. No, 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 no. It's a no. $25 cover and eight drink minimum. Oh. You do I I tell everybody who comes to Yeah That Greenville not to go to Fitzy's. Well, you need to go to Fitzy's to see Snick Don't and Sitch. Go I got to be honest with you. Your uh, band improves dramatically after the We eight. are the best Sugar Ray cover band south of the Mason-Dixon. <laughs> Who's the best north of it? Ruckus, ruckus. <laughs> Why do none of, you, none of you guys have like... There's a Sugar Ray fest. Okay. We can talk later. Okay. <laughs> um, I just want to say this. I've never been in a situation where this has happened to me. <laughs> You know, maybe this was a 2017 thing, but I just want to let you, the listener out there, know if you are an employee, employee, and your employer yeah. forces you to yeah. do something that is, that especially if it meddles with your personal love life. Dating life? Yes. Yeah. I would encourage you to document it, report it. And then sue them if nothing happens. Dude. I just think we need to get that out there. Dude. That what happens in this movie, not okay. Let's not do that. Under any circumstance. Yeah. yeah, I think we would just say, hey, (laughs) doesn't matter. Guy, girl, pizza place, doesn't matter. (laughs) If it happens to you, it's okay to report it. I would not leave my kids in the same room with that guy. With 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 Peter. There's no way. Uh, It's Peter's. uh, Peter's post. Yeah, it's Peter's post. Um. So she, uh, Merritt Patterson's character has some weird things on her fridge, namely a picture of a couple of flamingos, Mm -hmm. a picture of some lanterns and another picture of just something that I couldn't uh, make out. Usually people have pictures of family members or, or coupons or magnets for pizza places, not her. There was a couple of flamingos and some lanterns. Uh, and I found that to be a, an odd thing to have on your, your fridge. What do you have uh, on your fridge? Um, not much yeah. right now. I just moved. Um, Fair. I, I, um, the, the Peters, Peters Post guy, 
um, used to work with her uh, boss, right? Mm-hmm. Mary Peter, uh, Patterson's yeah, boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they know each other. They're rivals. Um, he knows where she gets coffee every day. Shows up. It's this whole thing. And he says, I worked with you for two years. Do you think that there's not a single thing that I don't know about you? Wolf. Yes. I'm, I'm telling you. After two years, if you know literally everything about a person that, that you're working that with, you're working you with, don't trust him. You I'm just tr- saying, you, you don't, don't trust, trust him. him. You, he is not a guy. No. You don't trust him. It's, it's Creeper Creeperson. It's I'm much. just telling you, you don't want any part of it. <laughs> it's too much. Um, how did, uh, we, we talked about this a little bit, but how did the bosses know that they were going to take a walk? Where were they going to take a walk? Oh, that's a good They're point. They're taking a walk. They end up in a random neighborhood and the, and the bosses are there as if they knew where they yeah. were going to walk to, even point. though the walk was not a part of the original date plan. Um, the, the, the female boss says, we can't print this. It's a blog. You publish <laughs> it. Um, and then, um, Brad, who is, um, the guy, the man, Giles Panton, uh, his, his best friend. Yeah, Giles in this movie. Panton. Towards the end of the movie, he walks in and he says, "Yo," <laughs> and then he says, "What did you two do?" <laughs> in an accent that he has not had this entire movie, yeah. he walks in. And he says, "Yo, you what, two. What did you two do? What did you two what, do? What, what, what'd you two do?" It's I just, weird. What, what, what was he up to there? You know what's funny is is that he's doing that back and forth with the uh, Merritt Patterson's friend, the chat yes. room. Yes, and. Uh, He's an Italian, like grandmother, or whatever was it like? It's clear through that sequence yes. that he w- has an Italian background. Do you think maybe that scene that yo, what are you two doing? It's like a scene that they shot right after he read the script for the Italian part, and he <laughs> was like, "I'm going to be Italian in this movie." And then by the time he did another scene, yo, he was like, "What was I gonna? I don't remember. Whatever. We'll just I'll, walked, I'll be." He it was, walked in and mm. said, "Yo," and I do want to know if that was in the script. Hey, yo, Brad enters room. Yo, 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 X, Y, yo, exclamation point. Yo, what are you twos doing? <laughs> or, or if he said, it just says, hey, and he goes to the director. Hey, so hey, look, you know, I said, hey there, what uh, if I walked in and I said, yo, yo. <laughs> it's very important that my Italian roots come out in this so, scene. You know, like a yo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dan? Um, speaking of chat rooms, uh, it's Please. not, it is not 1997. What in the world <laughs> is happening here? What in the AOL instant messenger? It is a chat room from a comment yeah. thread on a blog. Yeah. Mm. That is how it <laughs> just, and everyone has a screen name. It, it is one of the dumbest things in the world. I can't believe they've tried to pass I it will, as normal. I will say I don't comment on any blog, so I don't know yeah, but, if this is a thing you can do. Uh, but it was a, a, an oh interesting way to connect. Um, can we talk about the food plate shove uh, briefly? There are different uh, versions of the story of their first date. Yes. Right. One is he shoved his, you, re- you want to try this? No, you really got to try it. He takes his full plate, shoves it into her lap in the process, knocking a candle over and hitting her and burning her sweater. The other version of the story is he goes, hey, this is great. You got to try it. She goes, no, thanks. Shoves the plate of food into her lap, but stops and she pulls her wine glass back and it hits the candle. Either way, this guy on a first date is taking his entire plate of food and shoving it in a woman's face. For the life of me, who does that? Well, it depends on how good it was. <laughs> I would, there is not a circumstance where you take, even if you know someone, if I'm going to have you try food, I go, hey, take a bite of this. Maybe I lean the plate. I, or, or I'm like, hey, I just throw some on your plate. I would never well, pick let me my ask plate you this. up what and if, shove it in your face. What if it is a premium McChicken sandwich? Now, look. Then I take the wrapper and right. shove it in his face. Right. And I would not hate that. You no. can't. No, you, you wouldn't. That's a deal. And they didn't charge you oh. a dime more. Not a freaking wow. dime more. Guys, I also, here was crazy. I didn't, before I knew that I was going to be getting this select <laughs> I, chicken, I got a medium fry and a large Diet Coke yeah, with you it, did. which was way too much food. Some heroes don't wear capes, man. I know it, man. Say what you will. And was day. that before they went to the $1 soft drinks for any size, or was it? Because oh at that's that a point, question. it's like, whatever, like, give me a large. And yeah, well, I, was large. Will, I was willing to go up to $7 have you and I, that day. Have you and I ever ordered anything other than a large drink? Have you ever been like medium, medium Diet Coke? 
I've, ne- it, I've only never if I done forget, it. Only if I forget. No, no. Like, if they're like, what do you want to drink? And I say Diet Coke and forget there's a large, that's yeah, different. No, yeah. But if I ever order anything other than the biggest size you have, never. No, it's never no. happened. No. Um, back in the day, I used to because I didn't actually understand why people would go for the large drink back in the day because, in my opinion, you could just get refills. I was younger and dumber. Yeah, yeah younger. Now naive. I realize yeah, yeah. you save so say, much extra work yes. having to keep going up. The and then if you're going and on it's the a take road, it to go situation. Yeah, it's a take it to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, this is a golf weight what? And I know we don't need these in this movie because there's plenty to make fun of. This guy runs a giant business. He makes a ton of money. It's 2017. His putter is from 1965. It is a, <laughs> it is a gold just bar putt. You're correct. We do no, not need these. No, no one who plays golf on a regular basis with any sort of income would use that putter even in their own office. It wouldn't happen. That it's bad. Well, just it wasn't a good putter. Yeah. So, um, she there say she is typing a message to Silver Surfer eighty three or whatever his name is on the <laughs> chat, and she types something and she talks it as she types it so we can hear it. I guess before it shows up on screen. And what she says and what she types are different Yes. early in the movie. She says one thing and she types a different thing. What? Like, hey, circle <laughs> message panda. <laughs> yeah. I love you. Yeah. Send. Send me a big chicken. Send me a big chicken. God bless. Um, <laughs> in, the, uh, in the second restaurant dates, there's a, a, the salt Tabasco stuff. They drink water like it's wine. I don't understand it. They never get wine. They have two glasses of water in very nice wine glasses with long stems. They cheers in those water glasses. I don't. I just don't get it. Could they not find a wine prop? I don't understand why that's necessary. She says, "Is this being recorded for one of those prank shows?" I just found that funny. <laughs> we can't say punked. I mean, is it like is candid camera still on? I said candid camera because I made it sound dated because that's the reference yeah, but they would is use. It still on? They've had several iterations. I don't yeah, know if it's I, on I or do, not. I think can. it's probably. Um, I can't believe America's Funniest Home Videos mm-hmm. is still on. Yeah. I can't either. Uh, with TikTok and the rise of all the other things? Yes, when you can look, watch funny videos on YouTube until your heart is content. No. Yeah. I need uh, Carlton to narrate what's happening in this video for me. Sure do. We met him. We did. Yep. What a guy. Fun story. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll we tell did. you sometime. Yeah, it it's a, a great story. story. Ask, us. Ask us in person, not on, right. on, the, on the thing. Uh, guys, it's time for the What the Hallmark part of the show. It is when... We talk about one of this movie um, we still have questions about that we would like clarity on that would make us uh, be able to sleep better tonight. <laughs> I'm trying some different explanations yeah, for this. It's not segment. going great. No, no, no. <laughs> um, for me, I do. Uh, Milo Peters is his name. Milo Peters yeah. is his name. Yeah. Um, I would like to know Creep why Milo is the way that he is. <laughs> I want a Milo backstory mm. um, because he is a very uh, specific type of doofus and i want to know why he is the way that he is how did he become the type of person that he is um and how do we make it stop panda yeah i want to know more about the restaurant that they dine at multiple times because there's apparently a (laughs) three-month waiting period to get into this restaurant but then there's an incredible amount of unprofessionalism like allowing people to sneak in and contaminate food behind your back one guy takes a large amount of money to get a seat you at a table or a wallet we're not sure (laughs) or just a leather wallet yeah (laughs) he holds up his wallet we don't know if there's any money in there it looked thin yeah i think there was sparse on the cash side and then finally like i just want to know like what, what's the deal with that restaurant? Is it that good? Is it like three months? Like what's happening here? I yeah. just, I have questions. Yeah. The guy at the front, he's shady too. We oh yeah. He's shady. I just want to know how much money uh, the two bosses make. Like, I want to know how much these companies are worth. Like, cause they're, they're very excited about 14, 15 million hits and that's great. That's a lot of hits, but like they seem, they seems to be a very high dollar affair that they're sabotaging their, like they are they are making enough money to where it's a big deal, but they still have enough time to sabotage dates on a nightly basis. Yeah. And I just want to know how much money that is because that's how much money I want to make. <laughs> I want to make enough money <laughs> for it to be a big deal, but enough that I can still just literally have every night free <laughs> to do to do the old salt trick, got him. Like, I, I don't, like I, that's how much money I would like to make. I don't want to be a billionaire. There's too much, too, too much. many things going on. Yeah. I want to make as much money as Miles Peters without all of the creep. That's right. That's it. right. Yeah. That's right. 
Um, guys, we did it. Oh, we did wow. It. We did uh, do Amazing. It. I can't wait. Um, we're about to get to the patron of the week, and so uh, we're yeah, going to yeah, get yeah. there in just a second. But really quickly, um, the next two weeks, no new movies on the Hallmark Channel or yeah. on the Hallmark Movies and Mysteries channel. Some of you might be wondering, what are we going to do? And so I'm going to tell you right now, next Monday, we will be back. Or next Tuesday, I'm sorry. We will be back with another episode. We are going to be uh, covering the most recent mystery movie, Riddled with Deceit. A Martha's Vineyard. A Jesse Metcalf thriller. That's exactly right. So we'll be uh, reviewing that one next Tuesday. Then the following Tuesday, we're going to do a, we're going to sprinkle in a little Christmas. Mm -hmm, Uh, mm -hmm. We are going to cover the very first. Angel Falls by very first, movie. there's two of them. There's two. Yeah, but yeah, we yeah. only did the second one, and for the sake of oh, I don't know a book that we're writing, we need to cover the first one. <laughs> and so, we are we going to say that's it's premium an, quality? That's this, just an example. Yes, that's probably yeah, yeah. Our if, best. if someone was going to write a book about Hallmark movies, you would probably need the first one. If you reviewed if the, you second the second one, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know for sure, so we'll do it just to be safe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, look for that in two weeks from now. Christmas and Angel Falls, the 2017. Class classic Rachel Boston Paul Green what more could you want and then we'll be back uh, with with uh, I, there's a bacon me crazy coming out soon I, lots of exciting things spring fever starts spring fever there's a bacon movie yes, bacon me you're crazy bacon me crazy oh my with gosh. my good friend Michael Rady Mm. Very excited about that movie yeah. uh, but not as excited as I am about this next part it's the patron of the week patron of the week patron of the week it's your patron. It's everybody. my patron. It's patron patron of, of the week. week. Uh, who do we got today? We got a two for it's Yumi Harrison. No, Yumi Hansen. Yumi Hansen. You, me, and Hansen. <laughs> Singing umbop. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Yumi Hansen and Nikki Huffpower. Nikki Ooh. Huffpower. Yumi and Nikki. That's right. Yumi and Nikki. You do the deep dive. You did the deep dive. Dive. What'd you find out? This one took me all the way to the eighth page of the Google search to find. Whoa. But I, but I found it. Uh, interestingly enough, and surprisingly, really started quickly, their own company. Yeah. Um, can you explain your process really quickly? Yeah. So first of all, I take their names. Yes. Right, and then I Google together. Oh yeah, definitely. I put the little plus sign and everything. So what if the two that you pick aren't connected in any way yeah so google comes up with no search found okay. and that's so, where it gets complicated okay so in all these cases mm-hmm. where people have started businesses yeah you have picked out of our hundreds of patrons yeah two names yes put them together yes and they've started business yeah it's wow. been really Amazing. awesome unreal. Yeah, it really so, is incredible. Unreal. What, what's going on in this business oh yeah it's called neat deets Neat, neat deets. deets. Yeah. How do you spell those two words? Uh, neat N E A T. Okay. Uh, deets D E E T S. Wow, <laughs> spelling really good. Neat deets. Now let me ask you this before we go any further: Does is deets short for details? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, tell me about it then. Well, th- they have all the details you could possibly want. So if you need help with anything with details. They go ahead and they'll tell you the coolest ones. Is it only the neat details? So yeah, the, 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 only the neatest the details. The mundane, boring details. They're not going to tell you that. Okay. So the neat it's details. It's premium details. So, but the neat details yes. are the ones that people would most likely remember anyway, right? So like if I have five meetings in the week and only one of them's with a rodeo clown right. and two of them are about like choosing the type of white paint that I want, I may forget the white paint meeting. I'm not going to forget the rodeo clown meeting. So yeah. no, I'm glad you brought that up because I had the exact same situation that came up last week, right? A rodeo clown paint rodeo situation. Rodeo clown yeah, paint yeah, yeah. situation yeah. because I didn't know which type. They told me eggshell white, and here's what's interesting: egg white, white, eggshell white, not made with real eggshells. Did Cr- not know that. That's a neat deed. That's a neat deed. You I thought that eggshell white paint was made with actual eggshells? Could have been. But now I know it's not. Oh my gosh! And that, I was worth it. And that Dude, that you to you me, is a neat deed. Well, that's one of the many they gave. Okay, me. you told me earlier that car washes were created without cars. They yep. used to wash horses. Yep, and they called them car washes. Yep, and it was wild. That's a neat deed. I thought that was a very neat deed. Yeah, there's Thank, more. Yeah, what's one more? Uh, aluminum cans. Yes. Sometimes when you pop open the top, fizz doesn't come out. That is a neat. Deed. That's a neat deed, guys. Thank you. I don't you know so why much I do this show. For- <laughs> Thank you for being, because you are trying to get rich enough to where you can go home and have nothing to do yeah, at night. I guess. We're doing the best we can. You, me, and, and Nikki need, get to do this for a living. Listen, what a joy. You, <laughs> me, and Nikki, Nikki, the three of us? Uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, I uh, Life just feels kind of meaningless. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I, 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 
Check yeah. them out. Guys, thank you so much for being patrons. If you want your very snitch own. Snitch snitch. <laughs> It'll, we'll just, we're going to play fly to open and close. Yes. It's down at Fitzy's. Yeah, that Greenville. Dude, I remember this time we were in LA. We were in our hotel room. Panda and I's room was right above a patio. <laughs> and it was, and, and the party was thumping until midnight. And the last song they played. Was, Sugar Ray was fly. Sugar Ray. That's right. And the craziest thing yep. about that <laughs> is hours prior, this was 2019, hours prior, <laughs> we were in a car together and Sugar Ray was being played. And what you are look the odds? At, and you looked at me and you said, you don't really hear Sugar Ray much. And we heard him twice in one yeah, night. Did. One night. It was LA, awesome. what are you doing? You LA. guys are weird. City of Angels, man. That's right. Guys, thank you so much for listening. We will be back. But until next time, may we be the first to wish you a... Merry Christmas! Deck the Hallmark is a Bramble Jam podcast presented by Friendly TV. It's produced by Brandon Gray and recorded live in beautiful Greenville, South Carolina at the flagship property studios on East Coffee Street. For more information, go to deckthehallmark.com.